your NFL insider with us. What more can you tell us uh, following this news here that Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins died this morning in South Florida? What's good YouTube? It's your boy CJ Too Lit, and we back with another update. So I'm sorry to bring this news to, this news to y'all, man. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I'm a real big college football fan, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I played college football uh, at the Division One level, so I know, you know what I'm saying? You know how it feels. I've played with a lot of these guys at some of the highest levels, you know what I'm saying? I played against them. Uh, have friends that all have done the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So seeing something like this, you know what I'm saying, definitely hits home. Uh, and I'm definitely uh, pretty, pretty, you know, it, it kind of bothers me a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as it should us all, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm pretty sure Dwayne Haskins was not expecting to lose his life the way he did. Uh, but we're going to get into that story, man. But before y'all do that, man, make sure y'all click the like button on this video. Also, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel as well if you're new for more updates. Also, make sure you click the post notification bell so you know when I upload the video. Okay? So, let's go ahead and get to this story, man. So, article. Um, there's been a lot of articles released, but specifically one from ESPN. It says, Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskin dies after being struck by a vehicle. It says, Pittsburgh quarterback Dwayne Haskin died this weekend when he was struck by a vehicle. His agent, Cedric Saunders, told the ESPN Adam Schefter Haskin has, Haskins was 24 years old. He was training in South Florida with other Steelers quarterbacks and running backs and wide receivers. He was killed Sunday morning when he got struck by a vehicle. Uh, comment said, I am devastated at the loss of words for the unfortunate passing of Dwayne Haskins. Steelers coach Mike Tomlin's statement made. He quickly became part of our Steelers family. His arrival upon Pittsburgh, and he's one of the hardest workers both on and off the field. Dwayne has also a great teammate, but even more so tremendous friend to so many. I am truly heartbroken. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his wife and his entire family during this difficult time. And man, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, man, the reason why this hits home so bad because they're not even giving many details on the situation they're not saying like if he was in another vehicle and he got into a car accident or he was standing outside and somebody hit him with a vehicle you know so I feel like that's the missing piece to the puzzle that we really need to find out to figure out whether this was actually you know what I'm saying an accident or something that was intended on him being killed or something like that you know what I'm saying so I'm pretty sure the police will do more work into that and figure out that out obviously because that's their job and you know obviously it'll end up coming to light and we'll know more about the situation more about what really happened and uh, we'll just get a better idea of everything that's going on and how this whole situation even came about uh, you know it could have been just a simple car wreck you know what I'm saying but they haven't given real details on the situation yet um, but whenever they do do that, I will definitely keep you guys updated uh, because this is definitely a situation that's going to unfold here soon on the media. And I'm pretty sure like everybody will have their own opinion about it and start to you know, figure out what really actually happened. But yeah, man, that's all the information I got for y'all, man. Make sure you go ahead down below and click the like button. Also, make sure you subscribe if you have not so far. And I'll always be dropping news on people so you can go ahead and turn on the post notification bell as well and, and be notified every time I upload a video. But it's your boy CJ Too Lit, man. And we're going to see y'all in the next one, man. Peace.